Hi, welcome back. In the last video, we more or less got our piece configured as far as the layout goes and adding a few instruments, getting those new staves all configured and everything. Uh, in the next couple of videos, we'll actually be getting everything more or less uh, wired up for sound. In this video, we'll be dealing with uh, the instrument list window and getting that all configured so we can then start loading sounds in. We'll start by first going up here to the window menu, choosing instrument list. And there will be a few things we'll need to configure here in this window uh, before we actually start loading in some of the sounds. Uh, first, I'll just want to give a little bit of a kind of rough overview here. This is the uh, record column, the staff column. That's just the, the names as they are in the score. The mute column, if you want to turn off some sounds. The solo column, if you'd like to uh, isolate some sounds or instruments. The volume column. The pan column, that's just left to right. This instrument column, this isn't something we'll really need to, to deal with here, but if you prefer to add your instruments using, uh, under the staff menu, just the new new staves rather than the new staves with uh, Setup Wizard, uh, you'll need to fool with this, but we're not going to go into this right now. The channel column, this will be the channel numbers that correspond with the instruments in Contact Player, so we'll cover this in a little more detail in a bit. This is the banks column, not something that we'll really need to fool with here. This is the program column, and this corresponds with the general MIDI instrument program here. For instance, if I pull this up, you'll see that the number next to marimba is the same as the uh, program here. And these have this little percent %D colon uh, percent %S ID, and we'll, we'll cover what that is in a second. And then the percussion MIDI map which is where those XML files that we copied over earlier kind of come into play. Um, anyhow, uh, first thing we'll do is we want to make sure that all of our channel numbers are in order uh, from one. Um, they can be through 16 on one instance of Contact Player, as you may remember from an earlier video. Uh, by default, uh, your drum set type instruments will be set to 10. That's a lot of percussion instruments will be set to 10. I'm going to make this 8. And then I'll make this percussion staff nine. All right. So here, uh, if you'll notice up at the top, we've got the snare line and all these other unpitched staves. Uh, they're uh, rather than having a program chosen, since none of these instruments actually have one uh, that correspond with their VDL instrument. Uh, we just set this to no GM equivalent. As you can see, it's at the bottom of a list of these other ones, uh, 128 being the last general MIDI instrument. Uh, to get that chosen down here for these two, since these are both unpitched staves, we'll just need to select it and then scroll down to the bottom and choose no GM equivalent. Same thing here. Scrolling down, scrolling down, and there we go. No GM equivalent. All right, so things are good to go on that front. And you'll notice that 129 is what the program uh, gets set to here for these two instruments. All right, so up, up top here, you can see that the snare line instrument is already set. Its percussion MIDI map is set to snare line manual. So basically, you'll just need to, whatever instrument you're loading, you'll need to come and choose the proper percussion MIDI map. So this is drum set, and again, we use the drum set basic, so we'll just need to find the corresponding MIDI map. It'll be here under cymbals, gongs, and drums. Then out here to the left, drum set basic. And for this bottom staff, we'll be using um, the concert band combo, so that'll be under rack combos and vocals. Concert band combo. And at that point, everything in the instrument list is ready to go. In the next video, we'll actually start loading in some sounds, and then we can get some playback going on. So stick around. We'll see you next time.